Hey guys, this is the Dometic low profile AC unit that's going to be going up here in a minute. Donovan's going to be taking that junk off of there and then uh, putting this here on. Oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. This is a new thing in the RV here. So this is a brand new AC unit. This is a Dometic Penguin uh, thermostat operated AC unit that we have here. And we're running this currently uh, to support the whole RV in cooling it. What I really like about it is the thermostat set up here, being able to set a temperature and then it'll shut off not just the uh, compressor, because you know most all AC units when it reaches a certain temperature you might not be able to control the uh, exact degree but most AC units when you reach a, a certain temperature you can cut off the uh, the compressor portion of it so that it doesn't continue to make it colder but it'll usually leave the blower on and the only way you can not have that noise or be using that electricity when you don't need the cooling is to wake up <laughs> when it gets too cold turn it off go back to bed then you know wake up again when it gets too hot and turn it back on well this thermostat here allows it so that when it hits a certain temperature the AC unit will cut off so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna up the temperature and so the first stage is it's gonna cut off the compressor and then it's gonna turn off the blower for us So it just cut off the compressor as you probably heard the change in vibration. And so here in a moment when it's done blowing the uh, already developed cold air out, it's going to shut off the blower on us. There we go. Blower's off. So I think that's pretty sweet, guys. And uh, so that's the AC unit that we negotiated with the uh, purchase of the RV. So baby, what do you think of the new AC unit? I appreciate that new acquisition we have because the guys can see the old one it was pretty noise and close to us I appreciate our new one it's far away from us and then it turns on and off Wow, the less noise I'm happier you're going or I was going you're gonna go right both of us yeah. well we're gonna check it out guys Here's the low profile AC unit I just showed you inside. Uh, it's been in, placed in and all sealed there. Uh, by putting this here, needed to make a plate in here for support and then move the running lights back out on the edge here. So that's why these are here now. Those are all brand new. Here's our uh, fantastic fan here. Uh, this is a pod that we had repaired here on the edge so that we can use it. Uh, we had new reefer vents and uh, shower vent installed and sealed off here as you can see. Then we resealed around the older AC unit here since there was two for the fridge so now there's just the one reefer vent. Then on top of it we removed the satellite that was sitting here and causing an issue there. So there's a plate there. Now I'm going to let Catalina tell you guys about it a little bit. Here I am in the top. I'm not feeling it's a really good experience. I think this roof can hold me pretty good. James told me to check the patches and the sealant. I'm not like an expert, but <laughs> I don't see anything, you know, like that, uh, that's visible, that's broken, or it can cause a, a leak inside the RV. I really like the size of the storage, 
we have on the top can you see guys i hope like i have so many stuff inside the rv still i hope it can fit our needs in here okay i think our roof is pretty good so later on Catalina's gonna have us paint everything up here including the ladder rails and everything uh black uh and then we're gonna have like a we're debating but we're thinking midnight blue or maybe we'll do something similar to uh the transformers optimus prime's color scheme <laughs> but we'll we'll see how that goes i wanted to show you i'm kind of excited about this uh this the paint on here is aircraft grade paint from the 1970s so this is the original paint that went out on this gmc which i think is pretty cool especially since it's still in decent shape i mean uh, i think i can do something with it it's hard enough it's going to be able to be buffed and uh i wanted to show you a little bit that we did a little bit of buffing with some wax and i don't know if you're going to be able to make it out on video i can tell looking at it but i don't know if you'll be able to make it out on video or not so let's go ahead and try to take a look at this so right now you can if if you can see it on video you should be able to see reflection in this space right here i just played with it buffing it with some wax uh just a first stage and a two stage wax and i got some shine back out of it compared to here where it's real dull this is oxidized so i think i'm going to be able to deoxidize it and then put wax on it and give it a little bit of a shine so i think that's awesome because we don't plan on doing any kind of paint job to the coach until after we're back from Brazil. I think it might be just a little bit safer for it to look a little older that rather than uh, have it be really flashy. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story. Make sure you do something every single day to those concerts. Peace guys. Without you my friend Can I tell you all about it when I see you again? We come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you.